How do you fish a drag and drop? We're gonna show you how to fish that worm here today on the Guggen Lab. So this is the original drag and drop bait right here. It's around four and a half inches. It is designed to be really a drop shotted bait. You could do a few other things with it, but drop shot is really where it shines. It's got a, a, a big midsection. It's got a skinny tail right at the end uh, before it goes to a fatter tail and that just allows it to have uh, good action, good, good tail action, um, but still has that, that slender profile. So how you're gonna rig this is on a drop shot. So we'll, have, we'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so drop shot style, we're gonna take our line. You can fish this on a exposed hook or a uh, cover shot style, but most of the time when I'm fishing this bait, it's gonna be more clear, open water, and I'm fishing it on the exposed style hook. So I'm gonna take a uh, wide gap finesse hook and I'm gonna bring my line through. I'm gonna be tying a Palomar knot with about a foot of leader on it. So I'm gonna slide that hook down towards that end. Tie my Palomar with an extended tag end. Loop and around the hook. The line, tighten it, and then take the tag end. It's the most important part of a drop shot. Thread that through through the eye. It's gonna allow that hook to stand up nice and straight. And then you're gonna put your weight, a little tungsten teardrop style weight. Just pull that on, and this will actually come off if you get it hung. That way you don't break off your whole rig. And then you just nose hook your drag and drop. And the way I like to do it is I don't go all the way through the bait. I like to give it just a little bit of weedless. If you put too much pressure on it, it'll pop, pop through there. But I'll just stick the hook point into the nose of the bait. And that does two things. It allows you to keep that hook point uh, just under the surface of the plastic. So if you do come across some sort of cover, it'll shield you for a little bit. Uh, but the other thing is it'll make that worm really stand up straight. And once you get the, the fish to bite, just pull into them and that hook point will pop through the plastic and you'll end up getting that fish. So that is the drop shot with the drag and drop. So where are you gonna fish a drop shot with the drag and drop on it? You know, mostly it's going to be in uh, clear water situations. Bass are sort of finicky. They need that finesse approach. And you can fish this, in, you know, anywhere from shallow water, less than five foot, all the way out to, you know, 40 foot, as deep as you want, uh, just changing up your weight. But any sort of um, cover, like rocks, um, any sort of, you know, dock, shade, stuff like that, uh, you can fish that and the, the beauty of it is it keeps that that bait off the bottom so anytime fish are uh, close to the bottom maybe just a little bit suspended that's where this this bait really shines um, and of course anytime you have uh, a lot of like shells and stuff like that where you don't want your your bait to be exactly on the bottom um, you want it to suspend up there over those shells and stuff like that this bait is going to be excellent and of course, anywhere you got perch, little bluegill, uh, little shad, when those, those fish are feeding on small things, that's when this bait is gonna come through. Another way that you can rig it is to rig it wacky style. And I've done this um, in the post spawn when fish are guarding fry. Uh, I've done it over smallmouth, uh, for suspended smallmouth, fish that are up shallow. They're feeding on bugs, things like that. Uh, and you rig this just like you would with like a, a stick bait. You know, it just has a flat side, so it has a little different fall than a regular round bodied stick bait. Uh, but I like to go almost a third of the way up the body, not quite in the middle. You're just splitting the difference in the plastic. So you got, you got fatter plastic up here, skinnier back here. So that's the fourth segment down on this bait. And I find that it, if you just twitch it at the surface, creates that little wake, that buzz, fish will hit this almost like a topwater. 
Last way you can rig this bait, use it as a trailer. This bait is a sneaky good trailer for uh, spinner baits and vibrating jigs. Uh, we have two different sizes in this. We have the five inch and then we have the original size. So you can rig this uh, on your hook as a trailer. It has uh, not a whole lot of action to it as, as a regular plastic, but when you put this on a vibrating jig that's shaking around, this thing really comes to life and has a really good um, tail wagging, tight shaking action to go along with your spinner baits and your vibrating jigs. So that's three ways you can rig up and fish your drag and drops. So when the going gets tough, put a drag and drop on. If you wanna see more tips, stay tuned right here to the Google app. We'll see you next time.